Do you want to become a successful and confident public speaker? Well, I'm Dr. Edward Martin, and I'm going to be talking to you. I'm actually driving to one of my speaking engagements now, so I'll talk to you on the way. All right, so today's video is going to be a summary of the five main factors you're going to need in order to be a speaker and to do it on a regular basis. Okay, so let's start with factor number one. And today will be a summary, and uh, in my upcoming videos, I'm going to go deeper into all of these topics. Okay, factor number one, you've got to have a specific goal or reason for speaking. If you don't have a specific goal, you know, a lot of people go out there and try to be a speaker, and they don't have a specific goal. They're just going out there, and then they quit after a few times. You need a specific goal that's going to motivate you, okay? So uh, let me give you an example of a specific goal. Let's say you wanted to achieve the goal of getting 100 new customers or clients from your speeches, say, in the next 12 months, okay? So that would be more specific because you can always look at that goal and see if you're actually on track to achieving it. Okay, so start thinking of a specific goal that you want to achieve. Factor number two that you're going to need. You're going to need a slow and safe way to practice your speeches. Many people enroll in typical public speaking classes and it just doesn't work. That's why public speaking remains in the top 10 of fears. If you look at different surveys, you'll see that public speaking typically ends up in the top 10 of fears because people get to a class like that and those classes have a very high dropout rate. They go to a class like that and they're given a topic, maybe it's on a current event, and they're told to get in front of the class for 15 minutes or 30 minutes. That just doesn't work. You have to develop at your own pace. Some people aren't used to being in front of a class or in front of an audience for even two minutes. So you can't throw them up there for 15 minutes or 30 minutes. You have to let them develop. So, And we have some smart strategies on how to do that. So keep an eye out for my other videos and I'm going to get into that. Okay, so a slow and safe way to practice your speech and to develop the right kind of speech for what you're trying to promote. So talking about a current event or something in front of a class, that doesn't get you ready to be a speaker. Uh, a lot of the people who come to me for coaching, and I coach people from all over the world. A lot of them are right on the phone or internet. And uh, I have them speaking on a topic they want to talk about. You know, some people come to me and say, hey, I have a chance to be a speaker in three weeks from now. Uh, can you get me ready? Yeah, well, if I'm telling you to speak on current events, that's not going to get you ready. So start thinking of the topic you want to speak on. Okay? All right. And we'll get into that more and more. So you need a slow and safe way to practice and you have to develop the right kind of speech for your topic and for what you're trying to promote. Okay, let's go on to factor number three. This is when I ask everyone, what are you going to speak on and how many speeches are you going to give in the next 12 months? That's a very important question that most people don't know to ask. And I'll tell you why it's so important. Let's say as a beginning speaker, what if you notice that you're averaging around two new customers or clients per speech that you give? Okay, if you do the math, if you only speak two or three times in a year, you can't achieve a goal of like getting 100 new customers or clients. If you do the math, you'll see, let's see, if I'm only getting about two new customers per speech, I better give around 50 speeches. That would be about one per week. And so two 
New customers times 50 speeches, that would get me the 100 new customers or clients. Uh, the people that I coach, um, they have different goals. Uh, they speak anywhere from 50 times a year to 200 times a year, depending on how big their goal is. Okay, so start thinking about how many speeches you're going to give. Okay, factor number, so that's factor three. Now factor number four, I call this the business factor. This factor, I ask everyone, where are you going to speak? A lot of people just try and go and speak to any kind of group. That's a waste of time. The, the group may not even be interested in your topic. Maybe they need a speaker that week so they'll let you come in, but you won't get anything. People get frustrated. They go speak at groups that really are not a good target market for them. And after a few of those, they see it's a waste of time, so they quit. So we start analyzing things. When I'm talking to my coaching clients, I'm always uh, basically analyzing, should you be speaking at certain types of associations, certain types of corporations? How about certain types of conferences or conventions? Maybe there should be certain types of organizations. So you, we basically together, we have to analyze all of this. I want you to start thinking about who would be a great target market for you. Because like I say, if you just speak anywhere, you're gonna get frustrated and nothing will happen. So the business factor, that's factor number four. Okay, factor number five, I call this the commitment factor. And this is kind of a summary of all the factors. You have to start thinking, how committed are you to doing it? So let's say I asked you a year from now, well, how many speeches did you give in the last 12 months? Now, if you tell me one or two or three, you weren't committed. You just dabbled in it a little bit and then you quit. But if you told me, you know what, I wanted to see if your ideas would work. Um, I gave 52 speeches in the last 12 months. Or I gave 125 speeches in the last 12 months. Okay, that's a serious commitment. You're trying to see if you're really out there and doing it, is it starting to work? Okay, so 50 speeches a year, let's say that would be around one per week. A um, hundred speeches, maybe you're speaking twice a week. If you're really motivated and you're doing 150 to 200 speeches a year, okay, maybe you're speaking three to four times a week. Okay, so the commitment factor, are you committed to trying? Okay, all right, so we're going to get deeper and deeper into this. I want you to keep an eye out on the internet for my other videos that are coming up. And also go to my website when you have a chance. It's www.successwithpublicspeaking.com. That's www.successwithpublicspeaking.com. Okay, you'll learn quite a bit there. And uh, my email address is on my website too, so you can always send me questions. I'll usually get back to you within two or three days because I'm out there speaking all the time and I'm coaching and consulting. So uh, usually two or three days, I'll, I'll definitely try to get back to you and try to answer your question. All right, this is Dr. Martin. I want you to know you can become a successful and confident public speaker. And until next time, I want you to really start thinking about this because public speaking can be great for your career or business or any type of goal you're going after. All right, so until next time, this is Dr. Martin. Have a great week.